Welcome back everybody for another deep dive. This time, we're gonna be exploring a question that I think is super interesting. Mm -hmm. How old was Adam when God created him? Mm. Like when he first, you know, stepped onto the scene. Right. The Bible doesn't come right out and give us like an exact number of years or anything. Right. But the devotional, Our Daily Bread, has some really cool insights from scripture. Yes. They give us some clues and also some interesting stuff from like Hebrew tradition. Yeah. That I'm really excited to dig into with you. So let's see what we can find out. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Together. Mm -hmm. So right off the bat, like we're not talking about a typical birth here. No, not at all. I mean, Adam wasn't like born in the way that you and I were. No. God took dust and formed him like directly. Yeah. So that already suggests something kind of different about his beginning, don't you think? Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. And then you think about like his first ever job, right? Mm -hmm. Tending the Garden of Eden. I mean, that's not exactly like an entry level position you'd give to a newborn. No, I mean, imagine giving a baby the responsibility of taking care of a whole garden. Right. It's like, welcome to the world, little Adam. Yeah. Here's your watering can and uh, good luck. Good luck. Exactly. Yeah. So this is going to mean that Adam was created with some level of like, you know, maturity, maturity, like he was capable. He could handle this. Right. Yeah, no diapers or teething rings for Adam. No, no. He was ready to go from the get-go. But then, okay, so if he's not a baby, mm -hmm. how old is adult in this context? I mean, we're talking about a time before, like oh. years were even a thing, right? That's a really good point. It's hard for us to wrap our minds around that. Totally. And this is where it gets super interesting to me. Yeah. Our Daily Bread brings up this verse from Psalms. Okay. Psalm 90.4, and it says that, a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. Right. And that's talking about a God's perspective on time, right? Exactly. So our way of measuring time, like it kind of goes out the window when you're thinking about God's view. Completely. Mind-blowing. Yeah, yeah, it really makes you think. It does. So even though Adam was like, you know, brand new in the sense that he was just created. Right. His physical form, like what he looked like. Yeah. Could have been what we would totally consider to be a young adult. Absolutely. Like fully capable, strong, ready to take on, you know, whatever Eden threw at him. Yeah. That's fascinating to think about, isn't it? It is. So instead of picturing a baby, maybe we should be thinking of someone yeah. more like in their 20s, maybe even 30s. Yeah, that's a really interesting possibility. Prime of life, ready yeah. to go, you know? Yeah. And this leads us to another detail about Adam that I find super intriguing. Okay, what's that? The guy lived for 930 years. Yeah, a long time. 930 years. Yeah. So could his unique creation, right? The fact that he was made directly by God. Mm -hmm. Could that have something to do with this crazy long lifespan? I think it's definitely a possibility. It makes sense, right? Like he started out with perfect health. Yeah. Eden was this pristine environment. No sin. No sin, no death, at least not yet. Right. Like all these factors could have played a role in him living for so long. Yeah, it's really fascinating to think about how those early conditions might have impacted his lifespan. It is, but hold on, because we're just getting started. Oh. Our daily bread also dives into this whole other layer to the age question. Okay. And it comes from Hebrew tradition. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Are you ready for this? Yeah, hit me with it. Some Jewish scholars believe that Adam was created at the age of 33. Or three. Three, three. Wow. Okay. I know, right? 33. Yeah. Now, why that number? I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, why 33? There's got to be a reason. And the reason is actually what makes this so fascinating to me. Okay. I'm all ears. It's the approximate age that Jesus, who's often called the second Adam, mm -hmm. was during his ministry and crucifixion. Oh, wow. That's a really interesting connection. Right. Yeah. So now we're talking about a possible symbolic link between the age of the first human and the age of Christ. That adds a whole other dimension to this discussion. It does. It's yeah. like, whoa, hold on. Hold on. But we should remember our daily bread makes this clear. This yeah. is an interpretation, yeah. right? Sure. It's not like explicitly stated in the Bible. It's not a fact, but it's definitely something to think about. It is. It's thought provoking like, and it makes you want to dig deeper. Absolutely. Like yeah. what other connections are there that we might be missing? Right. It really encourages you to look for those deeper layers of meaning. Totally. But okay, let's shift gears for a second Okay. and bring this back to us. Mm -hmm. Like why should we here in the 21st century care about how old Adam was when he was created? Yeah, that's a good question. It seems pretty far removed from our lives. Right. Like, what's the takeaway for us today? 
Well, I think the answer is in seeing the bigger picture here. Okay. Whether Adam was 20 or 33 or even older, uh -huh. he was created at the perfect age to fulfill the purpose that God had for him. Makes sense. And our daily bread reminds us that same principle applies to each of us. So it's not about the number, it's about the purpose. Exactly. Like our value isn't tied to how many years we've lived. Right. It's tied to the unique purpose that God has for us, no matter what our age is. Yeah, we all have a part to play in God's story. And just like Adam was given that task of tending the garden, mm -hmm. we each have our own roles and responsibilities. Absolutely, and you know, no matter how old we are, yeah. We can experience that new creation in Christ. Oh, that's right. It's a fresh start, you know? Like a reset button. Exactly. A chance to step into who we were truly meant to be. And it's never too late for that. I love that. So it's not about trying to be young again. No. It's about embracing where we are now. Right. And the opportunities that God has for us in this season. Exactly. That's a great point. This deep dive is already making me think differently. Yeah. I started out just curious about Adam's age. Yeah. But now I'm realizing it's so much bigger than that. Yeah, it's about our own lives too. It is. Like God designed each of us with a purpose. Absolutely. And that purpose doesn't expire just because we get older. It's a lifelong journey. It is. And that's something worth celebrating no matter how many candles are on our cake. I agree. Our daily bread really gave us a lot to think about today. They did. They did. So as we wrap up this part of our deep dive, yeah, I want to leave our listeners with something to ponder. Okay. If Adam was created in the prime of life, ready to embrace his purpose right from the start, yeah. what does that tell us about how God views potential and purpose at different stages of our lives? That's a powerful question. It is. And maybe that's the perfect place to pick up in our next part. I think so. So until then, keep seeking and keep questioning and keep discovering. Yes. And we'll see you back here for part two. We will. So ready. <laughs> I love these little aha moments when you connect scripture and tradition. Well, get ready for a possible one then. Our daily bread highlights this really intriguing idea mm -hmm. from Jewish scholarship. Right. Some believe that Adam was actually created at the age of 33. 33. Why 33? That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what makes it so interesting, right? Yeah. It's the approximate age that Jesus often called the second Adam. Right. Bravo. was during his ministry and his crucifixion. Whoa, hold on. Are you saying there's a connection? Potentially. Between the age of the first human yeah. and the age of Christ? Yeah, it's a symbolic link. This is blowing my mind. This adds a whole new dimension. It does, doesn't it? To this whole conversation. Yeah, it makes you think about Adam as a prefiguring of Christ. Oh, Not God. just in their roles in God's plan, yeah. but even down to their age. That's crazy. But okay, we should clarify. Yes. Like our daily bread points out, this is an interpretation, right? It's, right. It's not like a stated fact in the Bible. Yeah, exactly. It's not directly there in the text. But even as an interpretation, it's like, it makes you think. It's fascinating. It really does. It encourages you to look for these deeper meanings, you know? Absolutely. And how different parts of scripture connect to each other. It all ties together. It does. It does. Okay. But let's bring this back down to earth for a second. Okay. Why should we, you know, regular people living today right. really care about how old Adam was? Yeah, that's a good point. Like, what does it matter to us now? I think the answer is recognizing the bigger picture. Okay. It's not so much about the specific age, right. but the fact that Adam was created at the perfect age cool. to fulfill God's purpose for him. Gotcha. And our daily bread points out mm -hmm. that the same principle applies to all of us. So our value isn't tied to a number. Exactly. It's about the purpose. Yes. The unique purpose God has for each of us. No matter how old we are. Exactly. We all have a part to play in God's story. So just like Adam was given that task, that job of taking care of the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. we each have our own roles and responsibilities. Yeah, absolutely. And no matter how old we are, yeah, we can experience that new creation in Christ. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a fresh start, you know. It's like a reset. Yeah, exactly. No matter what's happened before. Yeah. We have this chance to step into yeah. who we were meant to be. Absolutely. And it's never too late for that. Never too late. <laughs> I love that. So it's not about being young again. No, it's about embracing where we are. Embracing where we are. And the opportunities God has for us now. Yeah, in this season of life. Exactly. Wow, this deep dive has really shifted my perspective. Yeah. In what way? 
I came in just curious about Adam's age, but mm -hmm. now it's like mm -hmm. it's so much bigger than that. Yeah, it's about our own lives. It is. God created us with intention. Absolutely. And that purpose, it doesn't just disappear. No. When we get older. It's a lifelong journey. It's a lifelong journey. It doesn't matter how many candles are on the cake. That's a great way to put it. So our daily bread really gave us some food for thought today. They did a lot to chew on. Yeah, a lot to chew on. So before we wrap up this part, mm -hmm. I want to leave everyone with a question. Okay. If Adam was created in the prime of life, ready for his purpose. Yeah. What does that tell us about how God sees potential and purpose mm. at every stage of our lives? That is a really profound question. It is, isn't it? And I think that's the perfect place to pick up next time. I think so too. So until then, keep seeking and keep questioning. Keep discovering. We'll see you back here for part three. Yeah, it really is a question that makes you think, you know, like we focus so much on the number of years we've lived. Yeah. Maybe we lose sight of all the potential. Right that's packed into each season. It's easy to get caught up in those numbers, especially in a culture that's like obsessed with youth. Totally. But this deep dive and what our daily bread talks about, yeah. it's a good reminder that our age shouldn't define us. Yeah, or limit how we see our purpose. Like think about Adam, right? Mm. He was equipped from day one yeah. to step into his role. Exactly. No matter how old he was. So if we're ever feeling lost or like past our prime, yeah. Maybe it's time for a perspective shift. Okay, I like that. Instead of focusing on limitations, mm -hmm. what if we ask ourselves, what unique gifts and experiences do I have to offer right now? Right now, yeah. In this season of life. I love that because God doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't. He created each of us with intention yeah. and purpose, and that purpose doesn't expire. Nope. Just because we get older. It's a lifelong thing. It's a journey. Uh -huh. And remember that idea of new creation yeah. that we were talking about earlier? Yeah. Like that spiritual rebirth we have through Christ. Right. It's a fresh start. It is. It's a chance to see ourselves differently. Yeah, and see our potential in a whole new light. And that potential is always there. Always. No matter what our age is. Absolutely. There's always room to grow, hmm? to serve, to make an impact. This whole deep dive has been a game changer for me. Great. I started out just curious about Adam's age. Yeah. But I'm walking away with like this new appreciation. That's great. For how God designed us mm -hmm. and the purpose he has for each of our lives. It's amazing how these deep dives work, isn't it? It is, like we start with one question. Yeah, and we end up uncovering so much more. So much more. Our daily bread definitely gave us a lot to think about. They did, they did. So as we wrap up today, I wanna to leave our listeners with a final thought to carry with them. Okay. If Adam was created in the prime of life, ready to go right from the start, mm -hmm. What does that tell us about how God views our potential? Yeah. And our purpose mm -hmm. in each stage of our lives? Such a beautiful question to ponder. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It was a pleasure. Until next time, keep seeking and keep questioning. Keep discovering. And we'll see you on the next deep dive.